So the gentlemen that I work with generally fall into one of two categories. They appreciate the convenience of the custom experience due to their busy, hectic lifestyle and like the options that we offer, or they don't necessarily have a need to dress up as far as their Monday through Friday, but they like the details and the style flexibility that we offer in custom. Either way, if you are a gentleman who has checked all the boxes for your essential sport coats, checked all the boxes for your essential suits, and if you're not sure which one of those jackets and suits you should have first, go back and watch some videos that we produced a while back that talk about the first five jackets, the first 10 suits that every businessman should own. Say all that to say, if you've gotten to the point where you can now buy something new just because you want that feeling of wearing something new and distinctive, I'll show you three ideas as far as styles we're seeing in this upcoming season for jackets and shirts that are not the traditional look. So uh, this first style right here is a revision of the military style or the safari style. So double patch pocket top and bottom with buttons, stand up collar, square cut in the bottom, and then sleeve straps right here. Uh, you can't see the texture of this fabric until I get it up close to you, but it's a really beautiful boucle weave. It comes from one of my favorite jacket books of the moment, a book from a mill called Dorme. It's uh, Dorme Naturals, so lots of linen, bamboo, silk, and other natural materials woven into that. This military style jacket clearly is on the more casual side, so I uh, think weekends paired up with jeans, and it comes in your four primary colors. You've got your gray earth tone. This vintage or bottle green color is one of my favorites and it's very on point, very in vogue. You could also do it in this traditional navy down here as well. So that is style idea number one. It's again, more casual safari or military style jacket. I left off the epaulets for a while. We were doing a lot of these jackets with the epaulets, but if you think about you know the killers, bread and flowers, he's adapted his styles a little bit less overtly military, and so I would say leave the epaulets alone for that. The second shirt right here is a micro geometric. So I've done six packs of shirts like this for gentlemen that want something that has a collar. So on the dressier side, but it's not a traditional stripe or check or plaid. And we've got a whole book of Sea Island cottons with either subtle patterns like what this shirt is right here, or really bold, uh, distinctive patterns if you've got a more festive event that you're going to, or you just like the idea of your shirt making the statement of your outfit, we could do all of the above. The Sea Island cotton tends to be on the lighter side and makes for a really comfortable shirt going into the spring summer season. Outfit number two, if you have not invested in a completely unstructured jacket or blazer, so unstructured means no lining on the inside, typically minimal or no shoulders, uh, this would be a great way to get started. It goes with just about anything you would wear a traditional jacket with, but it's more comfortable. It has a more casual look. Um, this particular jacket is going to be made with a blend of silk, linen, and wool. And so you've got the stretch, the natural elasticity of something that would traditionally be a synthetic, like a polyamide or a lycra, but this is not. This is 100% natural materials, silk, linen, and wool. If you're thinking about something for the summertime, this ivory color would pair beautifully well with uh, dark wash jeans. If you want something more traditional, uh, Laura Piana makes the heather gray and then the navy, which is behind me. If you wanted to, again, try something that's deconstructed, very casual, but very comfortable. I personally would not wear this to a business meeting. Again, the stretch texture is a little bit too uh, casual for most business meetings, but if you travel a lot or you just want something that's got a traditional structure, but a very comfortable fit, the unstructured composition of a blazer or sport coat with this is a Beeson pocket, meaning there's no flaps, just gives it a more casual look. This would definitely be something every guy should think about investing for their wardrobe. Uh, the last item I'll show you was one of, if not the most beautiful uh, overcoats that I made uh, this season. So this gentleman already has his basics, top coats and trench coats. So the mid season and the winter season, we wanted to do something that was different. And I got this idea from a picture I saw on Esquire. So very unique rounded lapel. It has the option to flip the collar up or down. Of course, it's double breasted. So it's like a streamlined pea coat. Uh, it's made from a material that is a double cashmere. So it's extra thick. You would want ice cold days if you invested in a jacket like this. This color also is very soft uh, gray. So it's like a grayish beige color. And again, it goes with just about everything. But this would be something that I would say after you've got your essential car coat, trench coat, and top coat, you could start looking at having a little bit more fun as far as style 
color and pattern with your outfit right there. So those are some ideas heading to the new season. Happy dressing, my friends.